Hi guys, welcome back to Spoon Feeding Profits. Um, today I want to do a quick video um, navigating, showing how to navigate the new eBay shipping page, if you will, right? When you're about to ship your label. I just went in and it took me a minute. So just in case you're like me or you're like, you're getting, oh my gosh, what's going on here? Um, this video is for you. So this is an item I'm about to ship like right now and I'll show you, okay? So normally you come in here and you click print label, right? And it will normally take you to that common shipping page that we are so familiar with. But if you notice, this is like brand new. If you're like me, I don't like changes. So this took me a little minute and um, let me change this. I want to show you something. Um, right so when I first came in it was this item I'm about to ship is 11 ounces first of all so I'm looking for first class shipping I cannot find first class shipping for nothing and I'm looking I, I hit this uh, drop down to see and all I'm seeing is priority mail um, parcel select media mail is not even an option I'm like what is going on why can't I find so when you now come in, you'll see it's defaulted at um, custom size. So I clicked over here, carry your package and trying to figure out what's going on. I click down all flat rate packages, can't find first class. And this concerned me for a second. I'm like, did they do away with first class shipping via eBay? And because I'm a clothing seller, most I sell is under 16 ounces. A lot of, a lot of things I sell is under 16 ounces, I should say. So... I was like, where's first class shipping? Oh my goodness, right? And I'm freaking out because um, that's just like, so anyways, here I am and I'm looking and I can't find it. But what I did see, and this is cool, you know, on the previous page, you would have to click a drop down button to see these options. But here they're all like just clearly displayed. If you want to send a message to a buyer, you can go ahead and just check that right there and it'll give you an option to send a message to a buyer. Like there, you can write your message right there. Um, or display the, the postage cost on your label. You can just check that right there. So there's all these things you can do that's all on this one page. You don't have to click too much, right? Signature delivery. Um, if you want to require signature delivery for protection purposes, if you want to add additional insurance, that's all here, right on this page. And, but what I noticed is you notice it automatically selected one time payment for me of um, flat rate, uh, USPS priority mail flat rate. That's not what I wanted because my item was uh, under 16 ounces, 16 ounces and under, and that still qualifies me for first class shipping, and that's what I wanted. So, um, okay, before I go back to that, right down here, you notice it says set up automatic automatic payments for USPS labels. I guess there's a way. I haven't played around with this yet. But I guess there's a way you can click that and it automatically set up. I'm not going to get into that. I'm not sure what that means exactly. But anyways, so literally this is what I'm looking at. This is exactly how I came to this page and I'm looking and I'm saying, okay, I can do that. I can do that. But where's first class shipping? Um, and I couldn't find it. So I went back to custom size, which was the default page. And I figure it has to be here if it's here. And lo and behold, what I didn't notice was it was defaulted at two pounds. So what it was showing me, or I should say two pounds, one ounces, which is the same as three pounds. So they were only showing options for a three pound item. So that's why I couldn't see first class. So I finally went in and I changed it to... 16 ounces, or I could have left it at one pound, which is the same, right? And then click update. 16 ounces and one pound is update. And there you go. Because 16 ounces and under is first class shipping. So here we go. But my particular item is actually 11 ounces. It's not 16 ounces. I don't know why I said that. Um, so update. So anything 16 ounces um that you put in here of course this is pounds this is ounces then it's gonna populate first class um shipping so it's only gonna populate what you need right so one more thing before i go and um so here 
One more thing before I continue shipping this item, because I'm going to go through and ship it out and show you as well. But I wanted to show you when it was at two pounds or more than a pound, what I noticed was medium mail, um, when you click this down, you notice that you do have medium mail here as an option, but it's not highlighted. The, and you know the reason why is because the item I'm not sh I'm shipping, it's not a medium mail, um, it's not qualified for medium mail. So guess what, guys? You know, folks, sellers that in the past, they would try to be, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Dishonest, if you will, and ship heavy items through media um, for cheaper shipping. It's not even an option anymore if you're shipping um, on eBay because, via eBay, because it's not even populating for anything that is not media, right? So that's pretty interesting. I guess that's, um, they've gotten a little bit more strict with that. And this is definitely a way to do that. Only when you have something that's eligible, which is um, CDs, DVDs, um, books, stuff that's actually media, printed music, stuff like that. Right? So that's the only time it's going to populate. Anyways, let's go back and ship out this 11 ounce item that I have. And... Let's see how that looks. Uh, purchase in print. I guess you're automatically logged into, it says you activated PayPal one. Okay, I guess I activated PayPal one touch, which means I don't have to sign in that extra step. So you can do that as well if you haven't activated PayPal One Touch. But here we have it. And um, this is going to be blurred out eventually before this video is published. But um, this is a pro tip. You know, if you have a um, credit card, you can, instead of paying your fees and your bills and your shipping labels and all that stuff, eBay fees via PayPal, direct from your PayPal, you can use your credit card if you're good with credit card that is and you can build up points so and then you just pay off your credit card before the due date right so that mine is set to my credit card so everything i pay comes out of that and i just pay back later and i get free points for travel um but yeah that's i mean i did just directly having it pay for my paypal for years but this is definitely a pro tip I'm not saying go get a credit card if you don't have one. I'm not saying if you're bad with credit cards, do this. If you're good with credit cards and you're disciplined and you can pay off your stuff before you um, accrue interest, definitely this is the route to go. So you can set a default to pay all your fees and stuff via your credit card instead of using PayPal itself. So anyways, this is all on PayPal, so to speak. So we're going to just go ahead and hit pay now. And I guess my label is going to come up. But yeah, it was just a little bit different, I should say. Not confusing, just different. I do not like change. I am not a techie at all. So when I learn how to do something, that's literally how I want to do it. So if you're like me and you just found it a little off-putting or you could not figure it out, it was right there on the top. I just missed it. All right, so I just printed that label, guys. And of course, on this side, you notice it says ship your next item just like you normally would. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And I wanted to share that with you guys. All right, so as usual, I hope you have a productive day and be kind out there. See you guys soon.